Here we are at Fitness Premier, going on live with Darren Devine. Here I am at seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, Darren's one of those early, early risers who likes to get here and get it done. Darren, how many minutes of cardio you got going on today for yourself? Forty-five. Well, you're looking pretty lean. Sometimes you get heavy. Sometimes you see you lean, but you seem like you can change your physique whenever you feel like it. If you make your mind up that you want to get lean. All you got to do is add your cardio and uh, eat right, and your body responds fairly quickly, I've noticed. And uh, what are you doing right now to, to create a leaner physique for yourself? Well, basically just high protein, high fat diet, not a lot of carbs, especially after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Guys, believe it or not, I learned that from Big Mike here. Uh, high, car high carbs just don't do it for me. I like the lower fat, or higher fat, higher protein will get, gets it done for me. So I try to stay stick with, especially I'm trying to lean down, that's what I go to. What kind of fat sources are you taking in right now? Basically, uh, oodles oil is what I'm talking, taking right now. Um, talk about that. Flaxseed oil, cashews, almonds, uh, pecans, these type of nuts, basically. Uh, and basically, your are uh, all sick with the fats. No, you know, no junk shit. Yeah, so no saturated fat. I don't want to get, the, get people the wrong idea. When you say high fat, high protein, you're not talking about a double stack with cheese from Wendy's. You're talking good, healthy fats. Exactly. How many grams of protein you got going on for yourself now? I'm gonna keep one and a half times my body weight, so. Okay. 300, uh, 310, 315 grams a day. And you restrict your carbs to what? How many grams? I would say less than, less than 50 a day. Okay, so less than 50. 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, and then you just take in fat, it sounds like, four times a day. Exactly. So that's gonna be about 16 to 20 grams of fat four times a day. Okay, well, good deal. Not to mention that, you know, some of us take right now, too. Besides the multivitamins, but just some good amino acids. Um, it's just taking some uh, uh, NO2. It's a good product, still a nitric oxide booster. Uh, it's still a good product for me. I don't need much creatine. For me, it seems to bloat me. I need a lot more water. I don't feel as good. So, nitric oxide stuff I really like. And amino acids, and obviously, whey proteins, stuff like that. But uh, it seems to work best for me. What kind of nitric oxide supplement are you taking? Who's it by? Right now, I'm taking Beverly, Beverly uh, Internationals. Wow, another Beverly International uh, user, huh? Beverly products are becoming quite popular amongst natural bodybuilders, and there must be a good reason for it, because everybody sure seems to like Beverly products a lot, uh, especially natural bodybuilders, so that says a little something. I might have to give those Beverly Nutritionals a, a well, shot. Uh, last, my last show in November, that's where I went to for my, uh, my diet. See with the Beverly products. I seem to maintain my, actually I got stronger. It seemed like 12 weeks of diet for the show. I actually was stronger the last week before the show than when I started. I think a lot of that's so training hard, but also the Beverly products is very effective. Yeah, okay, well, sounds good. Do you have any future plans coming up? At this time, just try, I always keep myself within that, try to keep myself in the 15 to 20 pounds of, of a show competition weight. Um, I never know when or where, but it's kind of those things where you don't really plan it out. You just know when you're ready. And when you're not, for me at least. And yeah. when you are ready, I'll be within 20 pounds of striking distance. Exactly. So I'm ready for that 12-week program. Get back on 12-week program and uh, be ready. So I was thinking about that when I work out. Thinking about, I don't I want to get ahead of myself, but I want to be ready. Because it does happen. Because it's easy to get lazy. I believe I caught myself doing it many times. But it's a lot tougher to stay focused on what you're doing get done get ready for that show it's one of the toughest parts do it well there you have it ladies and gentlemen there's darren devine there's your update and uh stay tuned and we'll give you more updates in the future as he gets closer to, to more exciting news until next time